Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Awkward Guess. This is a 1-8 to eight player hand management card drafting deduction game where you take the role of investigators summoned to the Walton Mansion to investigate and solve the murder of Mr. Walton. You will be collecting, inquiring, and exchanging information trying to become the best investigator. How do you become the best investigator and win the game? By being the first investigator to correctly solve the murder of Mr. Walton. Now that we know what the winning condition is, let's take a look at the components, setup, and how gameplay works in Awkward Guess. Now let's take a look at the components. You have your tracking sheets, player screens, discard pile drawer, confidential or classified information card, suspect profile cards, game cards, player or case solving tokens, inquiry tokens, offer tokens, first player marker, and finally, your rule book. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're gonna be setting this up for a three player game which takes seven steps. Step one, get player components. You're gonna give each player a tracking sheet, player screen, and a case solving or player token. Step two, create your resource pools. You'll place the offer and inquiry tokens in the center of the play area. Step three, choose a case. You will choose a case from either the rule book or the app. Make sure to take a note of the case number that you're using if you are using the rule book. This will help you when referencing the solution when you're ready to solve the case. So for this game, we will be using the first case from the rule book. Step four, collect the case cards. You will collect the 70 cards referenced for the particular case that you chose in step three. Step five, shuffle, deal, and place the case deck. You will shuffle the 70 cards, deal six to each player, and place the remaining cards in the center of the play area within reach of all the players. Step six, place the discard pile drawer. Place the discard pile drawer next to the case deck with the classified information or confidential card on top. Make sure to leave room between the discard pile drawer and the case deck for a revealed card pile. Step seven, choose a starting player and then place your rule book in the center of the play area. The starting player is the most awkward guest chosen by the host. Then place your rule book face down in the center of the play area so that you may place your inquiry tokens on it during the game. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. A game consists of rounds until an investigator has correctly solved the murder. A round consists of three phases. Player turns, solution, and discard. Now let's look at each phase in detail, starting with the player turns. A player's turn consists of three parts. Inquiry, offer, and exchange. During the inquiry step, a player will request information regarding two references, which can be places and or people. In a two-player game, you will reference four during this step. You may use the back of the rulebook and inquiry markers to let everyone know your references for this step. So, in this case, our first player has chosen the living room and Angelica for their references. This takes us to the offer step. Starting with the player on the right and going in counterclockwise order, the players will check their hands and choose a number of cards that reference either of the two references chosen during the inquiry step. They will then place those cards face down and place an offer token matching the offer total on those cards on top of the pile. So in this case, both of the players chose two cards from their hand, totaled their offer number, and placed the corresponding offer marker on top of their stacks. That brings us to the exchange step. The active player chooses who to exchange cards with. They will then give them cards from their hand that are greater than or equal to the offer number on their stacks. It's good to keep in mind that you may exchange with as many players as you would like. Also, if no player offered information during the offer step, the active player can draw three cards from the deck. So in this case, the active player chose to exchange cards with the player on their right and not the player across. Then the next player will take their turn. After all the players have taken their turns, we move to the second phase, which is the solution phase. During this phase, all players will simultaneously decide if they want to solve the case or not. To do so, players will place their case-solving token 
either bright side up if they want to solve or dark side up if they want to continue. They will place it secretly covering the token and then revealing them at the same time. If one person or more chose to solve, they write their solutions on their tracking sheet. It's good to keep in mind that in beginner cases, very easy cases, and easy cases, there is never an accomplice. Players will check their solutions with the rulebook or app, not revealing their solution to any of the other players. If a player is correct, the game will end immediately. If the player is wrong, and the case is from the rulebook, then the player is eliminated, and the cards that they have in their hand will go face up in the revealed card pile next to the case deck, where they will be examined by all of the players. If you are using the app, players are not eliminated, but they are given a penalty by not being able to solve during the next round. If no one has solved the case correctly, we would go into the discard phase. All players will discard down to three cards. Discarded cards are placed face down under the classified information or confidential card. Then the starting player passes to the player on the right. The new starting player deals out cards to each player until each player has a hand of six cards. If the case deck runs out, you will shuffle all of the discarded classified cards, reveal three of those cards face up in the revealed card pile, and then use the remaining as the case deck. Then rounds will continue until one of the investigators solves the case correctly. And when they do so, that player is the best investigator and wins awkward guess.